Hey guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle videos here on YouTube thrice a week. Today I'm doing this makeup look. So if you want to see how I got this, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm back. My eyes are primed. My eyebrows are done. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the mini breakup palette. I'm gonna take the shade Purple Punch. And I'm gonna use a crown C149 small contour brush. Don't worry about the products, I'll have all of the links down below. I'm gonna stamp and swipe. Okay, so once I'm done placing the color, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the Pack 201 brush, which is a really nice detail brush. And what I'm gonna try to do is, very slightly blend the edges out. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the Pack 204 brush, which is just a nice tapered blending brush, and I'm gonna try to diffuse the color. So what I decided to do was, I went into my Jawbreaker palette and I used the shade Cherry Wet, which is this really nice deep crimsony pink sort of shade. I'm using the pack 201. I'm taking the pack 216 uh, small blender again and I'm just marrying the two colors together. I really like how it's looking in person. I don't know if the camera is picking up how beautiful those two colors blended together. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so the last thing that I'm gonna do in the crease is, I'm just gonna take this nice baby pink color called Bubblegum. I'm going to use the pack 204 blending brush. It's a tapered blending brush. And since I want the color to be really nice and diffused and I don't want to concentrate color, that is when I tap off my brush. And I'm just gonna go over the edge in person this is looking so beautiful already the color is so nicely diffused i wonder are people over applying makeup so that it shows up on screen i keep wondering anyway i'm guessing there's something wrong with my camera settings mm, this looks really beautiful up close I'm gonna go into the mini jawbreaker, the shade called Purple Punch in the middle right there. And I'm gonna focus this on the inner and the outer parts of the lid. And this time when I'm applying, I'm diffusing rather than, you know, sort of tapping and stippling the product in. We're going for a spotlight here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna try to build the the inner and the outer corners of the eye to get the shape going. We want the inner and the outer corners to be as dark as possible to give us that nice depth. Okay, 
okay so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my spotlight shape and for this the best thing to do is to get yourself one of these um, detailed paint brushes this is just by Camlin it was really inexpensive I think I paid 90 rupees for this on Amazon I'll leave the link down below you don't have to worry about any of the things that I discuss in this video I'll leave links for all of them yeah so you just get four brushes for 90 rupees I'm gonna take the which one do I take the second smallest one yeah and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do like this spotlight shape okay so I've got my shape this is what it's looking like now for one last time I'm just gonna take my back 2 to 8 brush I'm gonna go into the purple and I'm just going to intensify the edges so that all of it looks really nice and blended I want you to look at your shape nicely and if you feel like it doesn't match my eyelids are different they're not exactly the same shape sometimes what I'll do is I'll take some of the purple on a detail brush again and I'll just help my shape by applying some purple so that as you could see this one was not looking this eye was not looking as rounded before and I just applied some purple to this side and it looks nice and round so I'm gonna take cherry wet and I'm going to use the pack 201 brush again I'm going to use very little of this and I'm going to apply it right after the purple I realize I'll have to cut out a lot of the footage so that I can fit it into one video but I don't want to cut out a lot of the a lot of the footage because I want you guys to see all of the steps and I want you guys to see everything it entails to sort of make your eyes look the, the way they look in YouTube videos has anyone ever watched a video and you know seen so many jump cuts in between that you ask yourself hang on hang on what's going on how did you get there how did that take only like a minute for the entire eye in reality that's not how it is not that I'm saying that every eye look takes a lot of time what I'm trying to say is when I put on makeup I enjoy the process so much that I really like to take my time and I really like to finesse and blend and go back in re-intensify blend go back in re-intensify go from eye to eye I'm sure I could get all of this done in less time but it's no fun that way and this palette this palette is so beautiful all of Jeffree Star's palettes are so beautiful. We have to give it up to Jeffree. The makeup before him, like when he came out with his brand and he started doing like these ridiculous crazy black lips and purple lips and green lips and blue lips. Before that, correct me if I'm wrong, nobody else was doing it. We never saw pigment like this. I don't think we ever saw pigment like this in a palette until Jeffrey came and sort of showed us that you know showed the market and proved the market that you know there are girls who want to play with a lot of color we're not okay just having 10 or 15 shades of red and pink as lipstick or 
boring ass neutral palettes not like neutral palettes palettes are boring i think neutral palettes are really pretty but there are some of us out there that just want to play with color and the brighter the better i'm a neon junkie i love neon eyeshadows in fact i should have started my first makeup look should have been a neon look anyway this is just the first video i'm shooting it's not going to be the last so i'm going to have a lot of time to do all of that okay so i will light some of the pink and i don't have to worry about placement so much i'm just trying to allocate space real estate on my lid <laughs> so that i know where the colors go and then i'll just go back and play with them this is just um an unnamed brush from Amazon. You'll see so much of these unnamed brushes in my videos because I really like them. And sometimes a brush that would cost, let's say, 50 rupees a head would work so much better than an expensive brush that you spend like six, seven hundred rupees buying. So, yeah. In fact, another thing, one sec, I'll just tell you what I'm doing. I'm using the color Suck, which is this really pretty orange, neony orange shade in the palette. It's right there. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take Suck. The names do. Jeffrey completely changed the game when it came to the names of products. And the quality, the quality is ridiculous. For this price point, the quality is absolutely insane. It's really sad that we in India have to pay such a premium for makeup. I'd love to go into a store and look at all of his makeup up front and then choose and buy. I'm sure I'd buy all of it. No, I probably wouldn't because I have decided this year, not this year actually, I think I stopped buying makeup, I'd say last year because I already had so much makeup and once I got the Jawbreaker, the Mini Breaker, the Conspiracy Palette, once I bought these three in December, I realized that, you know, I have enough palettes. I don't need any more. One day I'll make a video about all of the palettes or rather the only palettes that you need I think that would make for a really interesting video I guess once you get into makeup there's, there's this uh, compulsion to buy and buy and buy and buy and buy and none of it is ever enough and you become like this junkie that just wants to try different products guys this is why you have YouTube you have these people making videos and telling you what they like and what they don't like it doesn't mean you have to buy every single highlighter or every single eyeshadow palette the reviews and the tutorials are there so that you know what your options are make a nice informed decision and don't go crazy buying things I think one highlighter is good enough one blush is good enough and if you feel like you want options and you want different things then you could just buy one eyeshadow sorry one highlighter palette and one blush palette and you're done you don't need any more makeup than that technically they say that once makeup is open you can use it for what a year two years i don't think you can use it for like five and ten years so are you ever going to touch pan on the blushes and the contours and the highlighters that you already own? Are you going to hit pan on them in the next year? If you're not, then please just don't go crazy and buy everything you see on YouTube. These channels are there for a reason. We review things so that you don't have to go and buy everything. You can just see all of the reviews, pick one and yeah all right i think i'm also going to do like a side by side comparison video of uh, like high-end eyeshadows and cheaper eyeshadows just to show you that you don't need the most expensive things to 
copy a particular look. If you see a look, you can just sort of replicate the look with whatever you have at home, I'm sure. Given that you have the basics, of course. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going, going to go in with the same brush that I used the pink with. This was the pack 201. I'm not dipping into the palette or anything. I'm just going to take whatever's left on this brush. And I'm going to just blend over it so that all of it looks really nice and seamless. If I feel like the pink is getting lost and I want to re-intensify, I'll use some more pink. I guess this is what happens. You blend and lose pigment, but you have a really nice seamless blend and then you apply pigment and re-intensify, but then it doesn't look blended. So you blend some more and then it's all blended and you lose the pigment and then you reapply pigment but essentially that is the only way to do it you build the pigment you blend it goes away that is how you get these beautiful seamless looks that looks really pretty i can see the pink i can see the purple i can see the orange but it blends nicely together Okay, so I'm gonna take the pack 397. I'm gonna take the color Wow, which is the yellow shade in the palette. And I'm just gonna go to the center of my lid and build up that beautiful yellow. Just blend the edges. I'm gonna take the Essence Eyeliner. This is a really nice eyeliner. It's nice and matte. Yeah, I'm just drawing a line to hide the lash band, that's all. For mascara, again, I'm using the Essence super volume super curl volume mascara no matter how much i say about this mascara it will never ever ever be enough it separates your lashes and lengthens them so for lashes i've decided to go with the pack silk 102 lashes I'm going to use the back lash glue. I'm going to take one of the highlighters from here. Maybe I could use this lilac one. Just going to touch the inner corner of my eyes to highlight. Blend. Okay, so I'm back and for some reason my camera stopped recording in the middle. So in case uh, there were certain parts that uh, were skipped in this video, don't worry, you'll be seeing me doing my face. 
so many times. This is just the first video I'm shooting. I don't switch up my complexion products. The only thing I pretty much change will be my eyeshadows to get different looks. This is the finished look. What do you guys think? The foundation is a good match. As you can see, after a bit, it's sort of, you know, like the color is great. And anyway, my face is, my, my forehead is much darker than my body anyway. So yeah, it, it's a good match for my skin. It looks pretty natural. It doesn't look crazy. So yeah, this is the full face. Okay, so uh, this is the finished face. Um, hopefully you liked this video and you gained some value from it. If you did, then please consider subscribing, like, share the video with your friends, leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next one.